So I'm only going to record this first little bit. Now, half an hour ago, I, ha I thought, what's Boris got me to, um, to do in this unit for this particular week? We swapped things around. This week, we're going to be doing connectivism. Now, instead of... I've got some slides that we'll go through in a minute. But half an hour ago, I thought, oh, how can I demonstrate to the class? It's always better to demonstrate these things rather than just talk about it. So, remember, some of you I taught last semester, we were using Twitter, okay? Now, I've sent... This is my Twitter account. Hopefully, the internet's going to be um, working with us. Okay, here's my Twitter. I've sent a tweet out that basically just said, looking for a teacher who can reply to this tweet in 30 minutes with a link to demonstrate connectivism to my class of pre-service teachers. That's you guys. Now, connectivism, if you remember, Twitter uses hashtags. So I've, I've hashtagged connectivism. So anyone on the whole of Twitter that is talking about connectivism will see my tweet. So all these people, a lot of them are teachers, but not all of them are teachers, are also talking about connectivism in their tweets. So if I wanted to, there's heaps of links in there. Now because I sent my little request out, if I go to, and I ask them to reply to me, so if I click on connect at the top, I got a few replies. This bloke, where is he? This guy that follows me has retweeted my tweet. So if we look at him, he has 560 followers. So all of a sudden, within a second, all of the, that request, even though it's a simple enough request, has gone out to another 560 followers. Then I started to get a few replies. We are but no hello from Perth. Hope you can reciprocate one day to my group of pre-service teachers. He is also in my role, teaching teachers. So, I just happen to follow him. And then there's another guy that I don't follow, but he's seen my tweet, and he sent me this link to a Ning group. Now, a Ning, who knows what a Ning group is? Yeah? Yeah, pretty much. It's a place to share information. This is a Ning group. I don't suppose anyone teaches Japanese in this group. Maybe. Oh, negative. Well, that's not the point. The content is not the point. It's more about the process of teaching, the process of connecting. Somebody has created this Ning group, which is just a web page for Japanese teachers. So there's members, members area, forum, blogs. There's all different learning resources that are related to teaching Japanese. And so, um, there's somebody else. I find this a really useful intro, intro, maybe info, paper, into learning theories and constructivism. So here's a link. This has all happened, I guess I'm showing you this because it's only half an hour ago, this stuff wasn't there. But it is now. And so... That's why I'm wanting to demonstrate to you this is what connectivism is about. So, I'm just going to hit stop on my little recording. <laughs>